Hello, my name is Simon Watts and I'm the Maker Lab Specialist at the Central Rappahannock Regional Library's Idea Space. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use our starter 3D printer, the Dremel 3D45. At the end of this three-part course, you'll be able to come in and make your first print at either Idea Space or one of our four main branches. The Dremel 3D45 has two plastic doors that keep the internal components protected. The most important parts of the 3D printer to know are the extruder, build plate, touch screen, and filament holder. A 3D printer works like an automated hot glue gun that melts plastic out into a shape one tiny layer at a time. The plastic comes on spools and is known as filament. The first thing we need to do is load our filament into our 3D printer. There are three types of plastic that can be used in the 3D45. Nylon, PLA, and ABS. Nylon plastic is used for flexible projects. ABS is a durable plastic useful for mechanical prototypes. For most basic 3D printing projects, you'll want to use PLA, which we'll be using today. To begin, press the filament button on the touchscreen. Then press Change Filament. The printer will then begin heating the extruder's nozzle to 230 degrees Celsius. This may take a minute or two. After the extruder is preheated, the screen will tell you to begin loading the filament. Open the filament holder by turning the side door counterclockwise. Then feed the PLA plastic through the white guide tube. When the filament emerges from the top of the tube, give it a pull so it doesn't fall back into the filament holder. You're now ready to load the spool into the filament holder. Make sure that the spool is loaded clockwise so the filament doesn't get tangled. Pull the end of your filament under the black hook by the extruder and then gently feed the plastic into the extruder. Then press the forward arrow on the touch screen and the extruder motor will begin pulling the filament through the extruder. Once you see your filament begin to extrude, press the done button. The 3D45 will automatically detect the filament type. Once it's detected your filament, just click accept. Now that our filament's loaded, we need to make sure the build plate is level. If our build plate isn't level, there's a chance that our print might come off the build plate and slide around and we'd have to restart. To begin leveling the build plate, press level on the screen. The printer will then direct you to make sure the leveling switch is free of glue residue. The leveling arm will lower from the inside of the extruder. If needed, carefully clean the black leveling switch by gently brushing it. The build plate will then rise to meet the leveling arm, which will sense whether the build plate is level on three points. One is centered in the back, and two are centered on the front on the left and right sides of the build plate. If the leveling arm senses that the build plate is not level, it will prompt you to turn the blue knobs located under the build plate. The sensors can determine whether the platform is too high or low, and will tell you what direction the knob needs to be turned. You should hear a little chirp when the sensor detects that the platform is level. When you do, press verify and the printer will double check it for you. After the leveling arm has checked both sides, the build plate will lower back to the starting position. That covers leveling the build plate and loading the filament. In part two, we'll find our first file for 3D printing. See you next time.